Yes, people, it's your boy Attila the Barber. Five star. And we're here giving you a podcast on our life story. Yeah? yeah. Hello, gems. Make sure you got your notepad, make sure you got your pen, because you're going to be having to take notes throughout this whole thing. So, yeah, if you're ready to hustle harder and get motivated, make sure you watch this video till the end. Till the end. That means watch it from part one, part two, and part three. Because we're going to be asking questions on all of our socials. And whoever gets the answer correct, we're going to be giving you a free, a free trim, trim. Or a free hair unit. Or a free unit. hair unit. You know what I'm saying? Or even a free day out with me and Nathan yeah, if you man. want to. Wherever yeah, you choose. You can hit the road, you yeah. can go to the gym. If you, you want to come, because it might be a younger generation that wants to get a free day out with us yeah, and we yeah. give them gems and yeah. a free trim, we'll yeah. do that. Come on. All come day. On. Come on. Say no more. Peace. Boy, let the cap shot die. My mouth wide open from shot. Sick and tired of hoping to stop. It's been the only hope that I got. I opened up shot and break out. Got what you want. Yes. We're Gab. about to start right now. As you can see, we have our notepads. 100%. The reason why, whenever I've done a video and I've tried to do it without a notepad, I'll always forget. So I've got art questions that I'm going to ask Nathan. And the same question I'm going to ask him, I'm going to answer myself. He's going to ask me back as well. And we're going to go through a lot of subjects as well. Definitely, man. There's a lot of things that we want to give back to the barbering industry, man. A lot of things we want to give back. A lot of young ones, they want to find out what's going on, what's the journey. How do we get to certain, certain um, points that we did in our career? And um, we just want to inspire, man. We want to inspire, give a bit of our story. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we're going to start off right now. Um, I'm going to ask Nathan the first question. So, when did you first start barbering? Like, your first time you even ever grabbed the clippers, yeah. maybe even to trim yourself. Bro. Like, before you even touch someone's wait, hair. Wait, wait, does, does scissors class as... Um, Bro, whatever it thing. is, scissors, trimmer. All right, all right, cool. I'll tell you a story then, yeah? So, in year five, in, I think it was year four or year five, I wanted to get a haircut. But um, I couldn't get a haircut for whatever reason at the time. And my hair was mad high. Mm. So I just got scissors. I'm sure like, there's a lot of kids that have probably done this. I just got scissors in the playground. And don't ask why I had scissors in, in the playground. We went to Tottenham schools, fam. I had the scissors. <laughs> I had the scissor. And I just went, shoom, back on my head. And I thought I'd done a good job. I just, yeah. I, without looking, I just went, Anyway, got home. Mum was like, whoa, my God, have you seen what Nathan done to his head? <laughs> yeah, I had ball patches all over the top of my head. That was my first encounter. But I'll say when I actually started cutting hair, cutting hair, mm -hmm. um, I was at home. Uh, there was a wedding that was going on. My cousins were over at the house. Shout out to my cousin Tarek. Big up yourself. Come cousin Tarek. Tarek. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tarek, um, Ride Free, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to the Ride Free family. Um, so I saw him doing his shape up in front of the mirror with a portable clipper that he found in the house. Mm -hmm. I was sitting on the stairs just looking at him do it. I was thinking, right. He didn't even clock. I was looking at, looking so at him shaping himself up. Yeah? So uh, yeah, but I saw him do that and I thought, right, can you do that? Yeah. Because remember, like, imagine growing up, you just think only barbers can touch your hair. Yeah, yeah, so when yeah. I see him taking it upon himself to shape himself up, I was just like, right, okay. So let me try that before I go to school now. So what are you saying? You've done your first shape up. So done how was it? Yeah, bro. How was the what? first shape up? Wonky blood. Wonky. Wait, wonky. Push back. Push back. And you know what is? See, see them times there? You, you have slits in your eyebrow. Yeah. You have a line. Some, sometimes even a border. Yeah? So what? You used to, obviously, from then on, did you shape yourself up more? Or was it just a one-off? Like, how did you feel after that first shape up? Yeah, after the first shape up, I was like, nah, man. I know I can get this better because I've seen yeah. it sharper on people. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've yeah. seen people with a sharp shape up. I need to get my shape up like that. Yeah. So I kind of got obsessed with the sharpness. Even sometimes I mess up my hairline. I had to wait for it to grow back so I can have another go. And I got obsessed with that. Like you see, when, let me ask you a question. When you got obsessed with that, yeah, did you like realise that you had some sort of passion for barbering? Like, was you watching other barbers out there? Did you nah. look online and search in barbering? Bro, them times there was no YouTube, bro. YouTube, oh, yeah. yeah. But there was Google, though, Google. Yeah, Google, but, but obviously fam. we didn't really, uh, back in the day, we yeah, didn't really use our bro. phone, Yeah, I was saying, nah, I must on. have been like 13, We're, we're, we're from the pager era days and... Yeah, is that, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I saw that and I just thought, you know what, let me do it again, let me do it again, let me do it again, let me do it again. Mm. Until I'd done it so sharp, I went to school and one of my friends said, yo, how did you, how did you shape up your hair like that? Mm. I've done it myself. And they were like... So uh, how long did I'll, it take you, you to get to that point where they wanted you to cut them and they, they offered to pay, obviously? I think that took me about nine months, ten months. Nine months. Ten yeah. months, ten months. Yeah, but because think about it. So You're with your shape your ups hair, looking good now, like yeah. to the not to the potential right now, yeah, 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 yeah because yeah. like we're more advanced I now. Like hundred, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. you was doing it on point then. 
yeah, like, pff. then I, I was doing it to a standard. It's so mad. You know, even like all the hair shops, like class mm. packs, I would go in there and buy portable clippers just to charge it in class. So for break time and lunch time, I can cut all of the people's, mm. uh, I can shape so up everyone. So tell them like how old you was. Like, so when you was in school, so you first started cutting your hair, yeah. when they offered you money, how old was you? Cause I was 13, is... bro. I was, so 13. was 13. I was 13, yeah? I was 13, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I started offering me money at 13. So bro. where was you doing the trims? Let's tell them in where the you were doing <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know where, what? but we're going to tell when them. I, when I say school toilets, yeah, I know everybody's <laughs> first thought is urinals, this, this, this. Yeah. No. The school toilets, yeah, you go in there, they've got the... Um, um, they've got the, the, the doors with the toilets inside of them. You go into that. And then they've got a space where the sinks are with the mirror in front. Do you know what I'm saying? Literally, my clients, my clients, you know. Yeah, my clients slash friends, yeah, they were standing literally right in front of the mirror at the entrance of the toilet. Mm. And I will just shape them up while they're standing yeah, up. Let me ask you a question, yeah. Was you using the mirror from them times to I shape them up? I wasn't using the mirror. Because the mirror I use the mirror them. now and so do you. Know? If we don't use the mirror, this is for barbers, mm. like I always check the fade when we turn it around. Yeah. And obviously the shape up, you can see from the mirror. Mm. Or if we ain't got a mirror when we're doing artists, we're going to stand back, ain't we? Yeah, yeah. And from just different have a... angles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, what, did you start using the mirror from then? No. No, 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 no. I'll tell you when I started using the mirror. I started using the mirror when I um, I started working in Silvers. Mm. I started working in Silvers at a, a part-time there and one of the barbers, so Kerwin, around, shout out Kerwin. Let me say, wait, you was around them time because I used to get my trim of John Joe back oh, in the so, day. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where you said you used to get a trim of him. Yeah, shout yeah, out to yeah. John shout Joe John if well. he watches this as well. Yeah, 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 you get yeah. me, we're here trimming now, John <laughs> Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, like, cover, my guy. So same way, yeah. yeah. That's how we're gonna keep this real. Yeah. yeah there's no edits. Yeah. This is raw content yeah. that we're giving back to you lot. Yeah. We, yeah. We're only on the first question. We still yeah. got loads Bare of questions. questions. So questions. we're still gonna finish. Yeah. So obviously you but, started working in a shop here yeah, because yeah. this is your journey. So it's yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. a bit. But that's what I'm saying. That's why I wanted to shout out Kerwin. I want to shout yeah. out Kerwin because yeah. Kerwin was like, yo, look in the mirror when you're trimming because when you're trimming your client and looking at him directly where you're standing, mm -hmm. and you turn him. And look in the mirror, it looks different, doesn't it? I was like, yeah. And it was like, <laughs> just remember one thing, the mirror never lies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so man. I'm always checking in the mirror. Always checking in the mirror. I know, it don't but lie, bro, man. Let me ask you the same question, though. When did you start cutting hair? Talk to me. Yeah, but bro, we need to get to the, your, your bit carrying on. So yeah. I can tell you my beginning, right, but cool. then you got to tell me the journey because we need right. to give them the journey the as well. The whole innit? journey. All right, cool. Yeah, give, give, yeah, give, yeah, give, that's give. why this video is going to be long. It don't, yeah. this, this ain't going to get edited. Yeah, 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 yeah. This 100, is raw content. So right, I'm going to start it off, innit? Yeah. So with me, yeah, mm. it's like, with my journey, it's like, I, 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 I was cutting my own beard always. I can mm. remember like, just doing that. Do you know that pencil beard line that we used to have? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, the yeah. chin strap thing. Back going in on. the day yeah. with the chin strap, that like, <laughs> idiot little thing like that, yeah? yeah. And a little thin moustache, that little Italian thing. Come like a Brazilian like, wax hey, but line. My guy, but you know beards actually harder than shape ups, bro. Beards are, beards are harder than shape ups. Yeah, but bro, this is what I'm trying to say. And you this is why my journey, time. my journey, yeah. I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there, mm. just wait. Mm. Because it did start with something like that. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. So I always used to do my beards. So that means I used to always be good at beards. Mm. And then from there, I did touch up my shape up a bit like you, mm -hmm. but I did mess it up. But I used to kind of go over my shape up. Say I got a trim of John Joe, whoever Edson I used mm -hmm. to go back in the day or whoever, then I would like wait one week and maybe shape it up on the second week, mm. you know, like on, on halfway through mm. and then get another trim the yeah, next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when you kind of touch up. So yeah, from yeah. then on, I knew, and my brother used to say, do my beard, do that. So I kind of knew then. So obviously, yeah, I'm going to lie. I went, I went prison, yeah? And mm. I didn't mention this in my other one, but this, <clears> this is why this one's going to be real. Like, this mm. is one's going to be raw content. Mm. The other time I did say I'll start... But when I was in jail, yeah, mm. like it was me and my brother. I ain't gonna say what I went down for because we're not talking about that subject. Mm. I'm, I'm in a better place now. But there was like people in there trimming as well, and they mm. were actually lifers. You know what I'm trying mm. to say? And they trimmed me and my brother, and then I started trimming then as well. Because as the boy was trimming, he couldn't do it properly. So I grabbed it and I started fading, bro. It was mm. like a three, two, one. I always knew because I was watching the video sometimes. These mm. times I was young. So from then on, I got out of prison and obviously I thought, you know what, I need to better my life now mm -hmm. and I need to do something positive. So obviously my dad, shout out to my dad, he's always helped me on my journey, he's, he's helped build me out of so many things. Mm -hmm. 
Like he paid for my college course, mm. and not only did he pay for my college course, he was my hair model at mm. my college course. Oh, he's every a G. time, he's a G. He's you a know, G. even though his hair was thin, he was just picking up a few yeah, hairs, chopping yeah, yeah, yeah. it. So yeah, like yeah, from, that's very from cool, then on, is, he yeah, loves yeah, his tea as you well. know my pups <laughs> come on. So then on, yeah, <laughs> like I, I done my barbering course, yeah. I was all right at barbering. I couldn't say I was good. I was mm. all right. I was taking so long to fade, but like. I tried to um, trim people, yeah. I was getting a few trims everywhere, but no one was trusting me. Everyone was like, I bun this guy, you can't trim here. Mm. You know how certain people think, I ain't gonna talk about this subject now as well, but people don't believe in you when you're starting on your journey. Mm. And no one mm. really believed mm. in me. So mm. Mm. what happened was, is I went back on the roads, innit? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And it didn't do me good. I'm not gonna say it's positive, but it was an up and down roller coaster. And as I was on the roads, I was still always working. So I was a hustler. Mm -hmm. I would be working and I'll be grinding on the roads here, trapping, not doing no moves on that, just trapping, doing my little thing, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then obviously, like now and then, I'll pick up the clippers, but it weren't nothing serious. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So like, Obviously, bro, I'm going to tell a bit of mine of mine mm -hmm. because we're going to go on to yours now. It will be easier like that. All right, cool. So, yeah, we'll go back and forth. No, nah, so then on, remember like when we said I went in the other shop, yeah? Mm. It was like Finchley times, them times, yeah? Oh, yeah, you remember you telling yeah, me about this. Yeah, thing. it was like No Limits it was called, yeah? Mm. Anyway, so them time there, I was working in there and like I was the best at the shape-ups and the beards okay. than anyone in that shop. Do you know mm. what I'm trying to say? And these lot have been trimming for time. So mm. I knew I had a skill. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So every trim they used to do, mm. I was doing like 30 beards a day. Okay. Every beard and every shape up. Yeah. So I was just getting cold at the shape ups. Mm -hmm. And then slowly, slowly, I started learning the fades. Mm -hmm. So I always started with the high number and went low. I never wanted to fade up because if you fade up, you can mess up the fade and bring it higher than the client wants yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no, so you know, I always I, fade I, low, yeah, yeah, I yeah. prep it and then I put the guideline in and flick it out. Uh -huh. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Uh -huh. That's how a man taught me. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So from then on, I started getting better, then I started getting half of the money, 50% of every haircut. Mm. And then I started getting good doing the calculations. It wasn't adding up to what I wanted. Mm. So then on, I left. So wait, yeah. hold on, hold on. So they took 50% of every trim that yeah. you've done? Yeah, every trim I've done, they took 50%. And how much, how much, how much were the trims? So I, I had a pen and paper, yeah, and mm. I was marking down one, one, one with four and then a crossover, and then I knew how much trims. Mm. But the trims I was adding up sometimes, it just didn't feel like I was making enough money. Mm. I was just doing it, and I was working like a slave. Mm. You know what I'm yeah, trying to it's say? Mad, so it's like, mad, it's mad, it's mad. Obviously, if you're doing a 50-50 thing, yeah, it's, it's, it's not good, innit? Like, you got to mm. get... You gotta have that willpower to say, let me rent a chair. A lot of people, let's talk about getting stuck. Mm. Like they, they get stuck at, at um, working for someone, yeah, and building up that person's clientele base mm -hmm. rather than getting their own place mm -hmm. and, and working on themselves. Like you, mm -hmm. you've never wanted someone for um, someone to work for you mm -hmm. and for you to give them wages. You've mm -hmm. never done that. Mm -hmm. You've mm -hmm. always, even me when I come here, mm -hmm. you made me a self-made guy. We're mm -hmm. gonna get into that bit after mm -hmm. because you always said rent your chair. Mm -hmm. I think we did start off 50-50, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but it built up quite quick. Mm -hmm. But, I, but, I, but I, I do wanna touch on one thing though, because you said yeah, where that guy, where, where he, he was making you work, work, you felt like you were working like a slave. But the correct term is, yeah, you were learning your skills, bro. Yeah. You were learning skills, even though you felt like that, yeah? yeah. If you were working like, bro, if you were like a slave, bro, you wouldn't have got paid anything, bro. But you were learning how to get mm. to a certain level, bro. So you can, bro, because at the same time, see this game from yeah, this game is a ladder. Do you know what I mean? But you need certain skills to go to the next stage and certain skills to go to the next stage and certain skills to go to the next stage. I believe, yeah, that that was a vital point in your career, blood. Mm. See, 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 see that whole situation. That's when your career came to a turning point. Because, yeah, had he gave you like, had he said, you know what, instead of me taking 50%, I want to take 10%, yeah? You might have, you might all still still be there now, blood. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 so that's yeah, a yeah. blessing in disguise, bro. Yeah, trust, get trust. Me, but, but yeah, sorry, go on, go on. No, Carry on that, what you're that weren't even right why man left though. So mm. we weren't getting along. So like when um you can't be yourself and you don't get along, it's like some people ain't compatible to be with each other. Do you know what I mean? It's mm. like if, if I don't get along with you and I bring that type of energy, you're mm. going to say I'm not good for the shop. Mm. No matter how much you don't want to do it, you're just going to have to do it for your own health mm -hmm. and for your own benefit and mm -hmm. for your own future. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're not going to want to work with someone mm -hmm. if they're bad for you and they're mm -hmm. bad for your shop. Yeah. If they're bad for your shop, then it's bad for your pocket. pocket. Mm -hmm. So obviously we got to think about those terms as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, yeah, like I had to go, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then we know what I did then. If you watch my other stories, I mm -hmm. pinned my things on the walls and mm -hmm. then I started trimming. But little did they know, I did stop trimming off and on. Mm -hmm. Like on my journey, 
I didn't trim for two years. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And then I picked the clippers up again mm -hmm. because I had no hope that I could trim because no mm. one trusted me. Mm -hmm. But if you, like you said, if I didn't go to that shop and do all of those trims, half mm -hmm. price, 50-50, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. wouldn't be where I was now. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have even... I wouldn't have been able to work inside Smithfair Studio. Mm. We're going to get there after, mm -hmm. but we're going to go back to Nathan's <laughs> bit now as well. And um, we're going to get back to there, and then I'll tell you the bit when I'm at uh, Nathan. All right, cool. All right, so, all right, so I left off where I was saying I was trimming, trimming man in the toilet, yeah? So, all right, cool. I got a bit better right it now. So now the whole year is coming to me for shape-ups. This is in school, this is outside school. People want to get haircuts from me now. Uh, that's a funny story. I was only doing shape ups. I didn't want to cut hair, mm -hmm. you know. Did I, have I ever told you that? You didn't want to cut hair? I've never wanted to cut hair, bro. In the beginning, I just wanted to do shape ups. After a while, I started cutting everyone's hair from school, shaping up everyone. I was selling DVDs at the same time. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? I had like some conspiracy DVDs I was selling. So, what kind like, of DVDs movies. you were selling? Because I remember yeah. buying Viagra off my barber <laughs> and DVDs. You know what I'm trying to say? Shout out to Hey, them. listen. DVDs was a hustle, because you know what it is, yeah? but yeah? what about the Viagra hustle? No, 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 fam, bro, I was young, fam. I was in school, fam. I ain't shutting Viagra in school, blood. <laughs> hey, this guy, man. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool, man. We're keeping it Yeah, yeah, man. I'm keeping no, 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 it Because you yeah. know what it is? This is what we'll be cracking up about yeah. anyway, you get me? Do you know but, what I'm trying um, to say? So I was doing that. I was, bro, I was making dough in school, bro. I can't lie. And then um, after that, I thought, you know what? School finished. I started college. No, 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 no. It was year 11, summer holidays. So summer holidays, year 11. And my mum was like, all of these people ain't coming in and out of the house anymore. Because fam, there was a point, bro. I had like 10, 13 people coming in and out of my house mm -hmm. every day, bro. Summer holidays. And my mum was like, no, nah, this ain't running. So where was he trimming? Running. Where was he trimming? I was trimming in my yard, bro. So in what, the, in um, the, um, in right, trimming in the house. Let's talk about that for a minute, fam, yeah? Okay. Because I used to sleep on hair. Yeah. I used to find hair in my hand, in my food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I was yeah, literally yeah. sleeping, eating hair, bro. Like, how was it for you? All right, cool. So that was hard times for me, I had a back shed, didn't it, yeah? Because I'm going to get to the point when I was in my room trimming for a year. Yeah. But, and, and it was mad, bro. Hair's everywhere. Like, yeah, how yeah, was yeah. it for you? That was the unhygienic, That was 100%, bro. So... Obviously, I had a shed here, yeah, and I had like some weights in there. I had a little mirror, mm. had a, had a little stereo thing. So people will have to walk all the way through Can my yard. You got yard a picture into of that. The garden. Have you got a picture of that. I got yeah, I got a picture. Right, of that. So, so we're gonna upload his picture of that, and I'm gonna upload my first picture when I was yeah. in my house, and yeah, we're gonna yeah. upload it onto here so you look can see um our video. Shout out to the cameraman doing the edit as yeah, well. Yeah, come on, zip, 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 zip. Zip, zip. come on, come on. He's gonna do a mad edit. So yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, so you was in the shed now. Yeah, man. So I was cutting here, cutting here, cutting here. But after a while, I got too busy. Too many people coming in and out the house. Fortunately, bro, I had a shed, so the hair weren't everywhere. However, yeah, like everyone in the ends knows where I live. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like there's a pro and then there's a con. Do you know what I'm saying? I could trim in my house, but everyone knows where my house is now. You know what I mean? So, moving forward from that... So wait, what, I had what, to with the, the pro and the con, yeah? Like, let's get into that. What, what, how was you feeling? Was it the type of people you was bringing? No, no, I was blessed. I was, at the time, I was cool because I was like, yo, this is, this is my mandem, you know so what I'm saying? was it in your, in, in your shed, yeah? Yes, but so people had to walk through Did the house. paranoid? Like? No, no, I weren't paro, bro, but people had to walk through my house yeah. into the back. Okay. And my mum, sometimes my mum would be downstairs. Sometimes she would be doing something Did in the kitchen. Did anyone come over by they, the club? No, bro, but they didn't feel that they could move around the house as they wanted because I had so many people coming in and yeah. out. As a parent, bro, you don't want that, bro. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine, Same I, as my imagine house. you got a, imagine you got you got a 14 year old, yeah? yeah, 14, 15 year old, and all of their friends come through the house every day, and they've, they've got like 15 people coming in and out of the house every yeah. day. You're gonna be like, nah, nah, nah. I'm not on this no more. You you need to find somewhere else to cut the hair. No, 100%. and that's exactly what happened. So 100%. I got told, listen. You need to either stop trimming or find somewhere else to cut their hair. So is that you what she I mean? said to you? No, nah, no. Nah, she, she said, yeah, you need to stop trimming in this house. If you want to keep trimming, you've got to find somewhere else to cut them. So I thought, all right, cool. I get it, though. I da See, at that age, uh -huh. I got it, though, bro. This is the thing. So I'm not, not going to be cut? mad. Where like, did you nah, cut? Said, bro, I got that. Was, he not, thinking about, wait, was he, house, he not thinking about maybe getting your clippers and going to their house and doing it private there? I was doing that in the beginning. So when she first said that, I was doing that in Can the beginning. Can you tell them how much you were charging in your shed as well? Okay. So compared to the pounds, <laughs> pounds in the toilets. Yeah. To yeah. get into trimming in the shed now. Right, so, so I'm just trying to right, interview cool. you properly, bro. So the, so the shape ups in the toilets here were two pound. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the trims at home. Moved up to seven pound, yeah, seven pound for the trims in my house, and then um, and I we're gonna, get, I, we're I, gonna I, get to how much he's charging now <laughs> as well. Let me let me tell yeah, you, bro. The, you the know, come it, up. 
I was thinking, uh, no, no, this is what, this is what made my mum vex because of uh, how much people coming in that house, yeah? I said to myself, you know what, I need to do like a fucking, like a promotion plan, like a marketing plan, innit, to get more clients. I want to get more clients, so this is what I've done. I said, you know what? You, wait, wait, I tell said, you know what? This no, what no, said, no, no, yeah. wait, tell, tell them like, because um, you've been listening to speakers from young, innit? So, like, who was you listening to? Yeah, no, to but I'm going to get there. Them times there, I weren't listening to no one, bro. Swear down. So, Definitely. how was you getting this motivation? Bro, because... Where was it coming from? Fam, the, the hustle, bro. Like, everyone around me were hustlers, bro. Everyone around me was hustlers. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Not for, the, not for the right things, though. But okay. I said, you know what? You're... So, you was with I older... Said, I want to channel... Who did you used to hang around with? Like, was it older than you? Like, bro, what was when the... I, I, what, when I was 14, bro? Yeah. When I was 14, the only people that I had around me, bro, was the man them, and that's about it. The so, orders in the end. Sorry, yeah. I, I'm a bit lost here. I want to yeah. know when you was in your shed, how old was he then? That's what, 14, 15. So you was 15, 14, and you was already thinking about a plan where you can trim now? Yeah, bro. Okay. Bro, six, bro, six. I was paying rent. No, that's that, what I'm bro. saying, bro. I was paying rent for a chair. Yeah. In the summer holidays when I was in year 11, I had to find right, somewhere so to trim. So you was paying rent in a chair. So you left there now because you didn't want to bring people in your house. You was mm -hmm. feeling awkward. Mm -hmm. So now you rented a chair. Yeah. And then how much was you paying then? So the guy was saying £20 a day, yeah? But mm. I'd be so honest, yeah, sometimes, some days in summer holiday, yeah, I wouldn't be trimming no one. I'd be sitting in the shop all day and maybe one customer will come. All right, cool, but on a good day, what was you earning? On a really good day, on a weekend, when there's loads of school kids, there must have been days like that when you had the... No, but summer holidays, my guy. It was summer holidays. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Holidays. Summer holidays. And imagine I was, so a, I was, I was a youth. Then. I was a youth in the shop. Yeah. So everyone didn't really trust me to get, cut their hair. All but right. some, like Friday, Saturday, I made peace. But here's the, here's the thing. I, never, I was never paying rent before. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? For the place, for the spot that I was. You was using. in um, Silver Street, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to. I don't know. I don't want to say the shot because yeah. I just realized, obviously, the age I was in it. But I lied about my age initially. But I was in there, no, no, and I was a lot younger. Bro. We all do things when we're younger, yeah. Mm. I've explained I went to prison. I've done so many bad things. So mm. we can talk about the bad things. We don't have to say what it was, mm. when. Mm. But mm. just to bring awareness so other people, they know that they've done it. Mm -hmm. And now, even though they've done that, they can mm. be in a better position now. Mm. It's especially for the young kids like, mm. that we want to give back to right now. And that's mm -hmm. why we want to tell us our story. Maybe mm -hmm. they might want to become barbers and come off the roads. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I'm yeah, trying to say? Yeah, like, yeah. We, that's why we're doing this. So like, it's a good thing that you're mentioning this. Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah, what I'm trying yeah. to say? Yeah, man. So, so from there now, yeah? Uh, bro, I was cutting hair, yeah? But sometimes, let's just say I made £10 at the end of the day. It would be like, all right, cool, you made it. How much do you make today? I was like, 10 So if you made 20. a tenner a day and he charged yeah. you a score, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Is he still taking your money? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there some, there some days it was just like, oh, that's how much you made. He's like, you know what, it's calm. Yeah. But some days I might like I might show him, oh yeah, I made like 80 pounds and he'll mm. be like, alright, cool, give me 30. Mm. For to make up for the days that you mm. didn't. Do you know what I'm saying? Ah, you know what? Just give me 30 of that. Or you know what? Just give me 40 of that. But I wasn't used to that, bro. Yeah. I was cutting everyone's hair in my crib. I was making peas. Yeah, yeah, you were So was I was thinking, you know peas. what, bro, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna stay in this shop from 9 a.m. till midnight every day, blood. Mm. Every day. Even if I stay there and I only cut one person, that one person is a new client. I'm thinking so many questions are coming up here <laughs> that I'm going to ask you, but it's not to do with this. <laughs> I think we're going to um, bring up females in this combo <laughs> as well. Yeah, just a little yeah. bit. Nothing bad, but like just why um, uh, we ain't been in relationships as yeah. well. But that's not now. I just wanted to bring that up here. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. No, we are. I'm we're going to bring up a lot of subjects, good subjects yeah, 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 here, yeah, yeah, and yeah. we ain't got nothing bad to say about no one. Yeah, 100%. It's just raw, raw coming from the heart, me mm. and you, mm -hmm. and, and just, just giving back. That's it. And it, mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting subjects. Okay. That's why if you're watching this, don't cut the video out. Yeah, get your notepads out. Because it's going to get man. more interesting now. Trust yeah? me. It's going to get more interesting. All right. So, boom. Right now, I'm going to put the heaters on because it's getting a bit cold. It's getting yeah? a bit... <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Can, can you feel it? Can you feel yeah. it? Well, I said, can I feel it, bro? <laughs> can you feel the breeze? <laughs> All right, so right now, yeah, I'm going to come back to me now. You can ask me and we'll go back to you because I think this is going to be our story and we mm. might have to do motivation on the next one. All right, cool. So we're going to leave this as me and Nathan's story, yeah? <laughs> yeah. No, it we're is. Gonna, we're just going to change the direction quickly. Yeah, yeah because... It's all right, you've got to watch it, that one the next it, one. It's you know got so it? much more yeah. we need to add to the story. No, no, 100. Because I'm going to bring up my, my time when I was cutting in LA, yeah. your time when you was cutting in LA. Yeah, yeah. I still got to bring up my mental health, yeah. my breakdown that I went through because yeah. Nathan was a big part of it as well. Not, not part of the breakdown, though. Not part, part of it. Yeah, yeah, part, of, part of part helping, yeah. me. helping me. Helping me. Helping me. Not part of it. You didn't break me down, my brother. Yeah? 
Listen, we're unbreakable now. Yeah, though, come yeah? on, come like, on, come like, on. What's come my on, man's man. name? Unbreakable, the film. Unbreakable. What? Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. But no, I don't no. know about that. Carry, let's anyway, go. Let's carry on. <laughs> that one there. That yeah. one there. We'll yeah, trust me. That one out. No, no, no. There, there. In, right, in a comment. In a in a comment. Leave what film yeah. you think he's yeah. talking about. And yeah? make sure we want you lot to interact in the comments yeah. here and ask questions because we're going to be answering all the comments. Yeah, yeah? it's going to go on both platforms. Yeah. His page, my page. Yeah. And the, and the first answer to that to that question, what film is talking about, Tiller's gonna give them a free trim. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I will. I will. And do you know yeah. what? Yeah. Only if you're in London though. Samuel Jackson. That's it. Samuel Jackson. Yes, unbreakable. All right. I've got it. Norm free trim. Sorry guys. <laughs> Just come to my head. Right, because he yeah. thought about the piece. Yeah, yeah. I was using my mind that full potential there to find that word. And shout out to Samuel Jackson, made some of the best films. No, no, 100, yeah. 100. You know what 100. I'm trying to say? And Sylvester Stallone. Big him up as well. Yeah. All right, let's get back to me now. Right, well, where was we at? So, um, so we was going to meet you now. All so, right. oh, it was the first phone call, yeah? Mm. So, like, we done this in the other interview of Larry, but we're going to get more deeper into it because this is my life story and this ain't my journey. And this is obviously how Nathan's been a big part of my journey. And, and obviously looking, and this is why we need to find the right people around us because Nathan's always been listening to audios. I've had Ev into Bitcoin, everyone in the shop, Kat's been on that. Mm -hmm. And obviously they've all inspired me. So I'm sitting around them and I used to feel a bit of like, like, it was like, not jealousy, but like I said, they're trimming, I'm not. Mm. And if you're in the shop and you're feeling pressure, like pressure, that, yeah? Pressure, pressure, Yeah, because it's like, mm. even if you're in the gym and everyone's wham and you're pressure. skinny, and then That's you, the best you need to go put in the work. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. put yourself in a position when everyone's mm. doing better than you, mm. yeah? And then sit around them. If them people are really good for you, then they're going to want to help you put mm. in positions that they're in themselves. Mm -hmm. Do you know mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the reason I'm mentioning it, yeah, is because this is when it was the right place for me. Do you know what I'm saying? And this is when my journey changed from, from working in my house, from hair all over the floor to working for half price, sweeping mm -hmm. the floor. Mm -hmm. And I did sweep the floor mm -hmm. for seven months before I even couldn't even touch the beard. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. And I used to get talking to, talking down to, you're never going to be this, never going to be that. Mm -hmm. Even when I went for my driver's license, I passed on my fourth time. Mm -hmm. My instructor said, you ain't going to pass. Mm -hmm. Dropped me in the rain and I mm -hmm. walked in the rain. It was what, sad. You're driving yourself to drop Yeah, he rain? dropped me in the rain and I wow, felt it's like you're a failure. You're never no, going to Shit. Yeah, so like, bro, this is what I'm saying. Oh, so like, man, <laughs> like in life, yeah, I've, I've been down. Do yeah. you know what I'm trying to say? And I've always yeah. lifted myself back out of it. And I 100. knew that this role model person was good for me, the shop. Because when I rang Nathan, like, he was like me. Mm, like, yeah, we yeah, speak the yeah. same. We both come from that background. We're both yeah. North London. Yeah. Obviously, we've got a little bit of road slang. Yeah, yeah, and everyone yeah. in the shop had the same energy. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> yeah. And I felt like, yeah. in here now, Smithfair Studio, shout out to SHS, <laughs> SHS of the world. Come yeah. on, come on, come We're here together. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. trying to say? We've had our ups and downs, even me and Nathan, where yeah. we've not even been in contact for a year, two yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, right now, we're stronger than ever. On, He's you know in a bigger position. I'm in a mm -hmm. bigger position. And mm -hmm. now we're in a position to give, to give back. 100%. 100%. So, like, we're going to be reaching out to schools. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing our own events. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah, going to be yeah. sponsoring. We're yeah. going to be giving so, back. Yeah. So I've just opened up um, the Smiths Foundation. CIC yeah, the Smiths Foundation. It's open up now. So we're going to be doing a lot of projects in Edmonton, Haringey, Tottenham. Um, yeah, and you already got a sponsor Haringey. for another. Um, Enfield. Yeah, football team as well. Yeah, How yeah, yeah. GFA, GFA. And we've got... Um, Edmonton as well. Be, be, I Look, mean, show them your thing as well, yeah. Put that to the camera, your tattoo. Yeah. All right, there's another reason why, yeah. So from now on, we're going to do, obviously, a few more podcasts. Mm -hmm. So I've been, obviously, trying to reach out to a lot of platforms from other people doing podcasts so I can tell my story, mm -hmm. you know what I'm trying to say, but it's not really happened. And obviously, people choose and select who they want to choose. Mm -hmm. So now this is why... I'm starting my platform here mm -hmm. and I'm going to start calling on other people mm -hmm. like artists, like people with inspirational stories, people with big businesses, mm -hmm. life changing movements. So this platform here yeah, is going to show all of that. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Because mm -hmm. you know when you want to obviously tell your thing and I've reached out to, I ain't going to say which platforms, but no one's even replied to me mm -hmm. or even read my message. So it's only right that I go and build my own platform now. And that's what everyone else should do as well. 100%. 100%. If they're not letting you in, you've got to make your yeah, own way in. Yeah, make your own way in. 100%. Yeah. So I just wanted to... um We're kicking down the doors, bro. Well. Yeah. All right. So, so boom. Um, where was we? Was I at, when I, um, at Smith Air Studio now? Yeah, them kicks are hard, by the way, still. 
No, I love for different, that, man. Still different. I see you yeah, still. Different. So right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so um, do you want to know about? What do you want to know about? Mm. Smith all right, so Smith Air Studio, yeah. Mm. Like, obviously, first of all, like, when did you know you was gonna take your barber into another level, like? Cause now let's talk about enhancements, yeah. Mm. So first enhancement, we're gonna show it to you lot, so we can. Um, Wait, hold on. We didn't even get into the reason why I opened up the shop in the first place, bro. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's get into that. Yeah. Oh, so when when did you have the plan? To always open up the shop because me personally, I only work for myself. I'm self-employed. I've got all these bills, tax returns, things, and it's like it's a bit nerve-wracking. And I made mm -hmm. mistakes, and I've had to pay extra money. Mm -hmm. So it must have been like a bit of a roller coaster for you at the beginning, where you was making mistakes and you've mm -hmm. had to pay more money. Because me myself, I realize now, do it the proper way rather than doing it a quick way and end up fucking up. Well, that's what I'm saying. But I've always done it the proper way, though. So you've never. So so like in terms of, <coughs> in terms of mistakes here. Um, the only mistakes that I would say that I've made in the past was um, bringing in, let's say, barbers or hairdressers into the shop that weren't serious. And the thing is, when I noticed that they weren't serious from the beginning, <coughs> I still tried to put in, um, put energy into them, mm. and then they just ended up leaving. Do you know what I'm saying? Not, not even gaining as many clients as they could have gained if they stayed. Do you know what I mean? But so, when they left, did their clients leave with them or? No, bro. When they left, they stopped, they stopped doing what it is that they were doing. So you know they, what I'm saying? they stopped cutting hair? Whether it be cutting hair, whether it be hairdressing, whether it be mm. nails. Do you know what I'm saying? They've just left. Right, and so they're, right they're now, yeah, it. tell them that where you're at now. We're going to go back into that. But how many mm. barbers have you got now? Like right, nail cool. technicians? Because like, yeah. obviously you're, you're entrepreneur. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. want money to work for you rather than you working for money. Yeah, that as well, man. That as well. Like, it's weird. I'm, 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 on a, I'm, I'm in like a weird position where I'm... I'm not a capitalist and I'm also I'm also green. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? And when I say that I mean like I wanna help people. I wanna do things for the for the um for the for the community. Yeah, that's why we're here now. You know what I'm saying? There's some there's some young people that are going through a madness and they've got mad skill. And they just haven't had anyone to show them how to channel it into the right things. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And at the same time, I need to make paper too because I've always been a hustler, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like yeah. nice things too, do you know what I mean? And I and I like residual. Do you know what I mean? I your have book to, I have as to well. get residual. Your book as well. Have you got your book? Yeah. Is there any right now that I can grab? And no, show no. Them? My book, my book's in the car. But I can tell, uh, I can tell them to go onto Amazon and search. Let me put you on. No, I'll, I'll yeah? bring it up now, innit? Just continue it. Yeah. yeah let me bring put, it up. Let me put you on. I wrote a book. Um, let I me wrote put you on. Um, yeah, Nathan Smith. Let me put, put you on. You on? Yeah. It should just come up straight away if you type in. Let me put you on, on Amazon search, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna get it out now. All right, so what? What made you write this book? All right, cool. So I was going through. Yeah, there you go. Put it so this is the book here. Yeah, you can search on Amazon Prime. Have you got audio book as well? Um, no, but it's on YouTube. All right, it's the, on audio, YouTube. the audio's on YouTube. So you can listen to the audio on YouTube for free as well. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All yep, right, yep. make sure obviously on the platform Smith Air Studio, he's got a lot of videos on there, content mm -hmm. that you lot wanna watch. Mm -hmm. um, That's love, man. Thank you. The main page. Is a Smith's H Studio. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show them now. It's Smith H Studio. Yeah, Smith's H Studio. All the links are gonna be in the bio below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Evs as well, because he gave me the trim at the beginning. Um, I'm just gonna show one more, yeah, just so they can't see it. Nathan Five Star, there as well. Yeah. Everything's there. If you wanna book him, you just click the link. We're gonna talk about his other services that he does as well, because he does different services than me. So, um, where was we at again? I showed you about the book. Yeah, um, when, so, um, when I was opening up the shop. Uh, yeah, when you was opening up the shop here, yeah, um, was it a decision that you just had spontaneous, that you wanted to open it? Mm -hmm. um, did you feel nervous about it? Like, how was you feeling about nah, opening man, the shop? Nah, man, bro, sometimes there, remember, I went, I went um, uni, I studied, I studied marketing, bro, yeah? I just about got into uni. I had bad grades, just about to go into and Just tell them, obviously, for people that um, they might not have the money to fund it, did you lend the money? Like, what? you can tell the camera, you, it doesn't Are you matter. talking about the shop, or are you talking about... For the shop, to, yeah, yeah. to, to pull the but shop yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get there, I'm going to get there. So, bro, when I finished uni now, I decided, I was thinking, all right, cool, I can either get a job, or all these years I was cutting hair, I can use those clients to open up a business. And I can't lie, I had doubts in the beginning, because I didn't think I could do it. Then I thought to myself, who else is going to be more qualified than me 
to open up a shop. Okay. And I feel like that's what everyone should ask themselves. If you're good at something, yeah, and you want to open up a but business. But wait, you come it? here. I remember you come here with Ev though, because he left with you, isn't that right? Yeah, no, no, no. Here, so here's the story. Here's the story. Yeah. Sorry so, for breaking you like that, but obviously <laughs> I know a bit of your. I'm gonna journey. get there. Let me get yeah, there, yeah. bro. But, yeah, but uh, uh, no, let me talk, fam. So, all right. Fast forward now, yeah. Um, I went to the bank. So I've gone to the bank. I've sat down with a bank manager, yeah. And I've no, no. But this is after I applied for loads of different funding because apparently there was funding available if you wanted to set up a business if you're young, right? Went to loads of companies, tried to get funding, couldn't get funding. So I thought, you know what, I got, um, I'm part of NatWest, so I thought to myself, let me just book a, book a meet with NatWest. So I went there and um, I made sure I came prepared with my business plan, with all of my clientele data. I had to get um, a bank reference as well. I had to get loads of different things that they asked me for. Shout out to Mike from, um, Mike from Numble. He helped me as well with my business plan with um, submitting everything to the bank. He actually gave me bullet points of what banks to go to, everything. He's my accountant. So anyone that wants to start any business in anything, first step, get your accountant. Yeah, yeah. get your yeah, accountant. Yeah, yeah. Any questions that you have to ask, the yeah, accountant yeah. would same, most same, probably same. have the answers. So Mike was just like, <coughs> go to this place, go to this place, go to this place, go to this place. So my last place I went to was NatWest. I had a, I had a big folder. <coughs> you get me, them times there I used to wear a suit all the time. Man, I had the kettle on my wrist. I was confident. I walked in there and I was like, yo, I'm trying to get this um, business loan. And they were like, all right, cool. Um, wh what, what are all of the, the documents that you have? I showed them all of my documents. And he said, no problem, we're going to take this. We're going to book another meeting. And we want you to come back. So um, I had to send him some um, files via email and that. And I went back again. And then he done a, um, he done a check with all of the details that I had. And then he printed something out. And he said, um, wait one minute. Let me just print this out. And he said, we're about to see if you're going to get it or not. So come out of the printer. Or the fax me, I don't know what it come out here. He took it out and he said, you see this? People who are in their, in their 30s don't even get this. I was 22 at the time, blood. He said, people in their 30s didn't get this. I don't know how you done this, but it went through. And I was over the moon, blood. So how much I was money did the they moon. give you? 15K, blood. 15, 15K. Yeah. No, tell a lie, tell a lie. At first they gave me 12K and then after they gave me a top up of 3 more K. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And was yeah. that enough money to start this up? That was ish. Ish. Oh, did you so have I, any I, I paid. Con, I, no yeah, yeah so that was part of the aircon. So when I first moved into the property, the landlord said, "All right, cool. Here's the situation. You can get the property." Shout out to Ozzy. He hooked me up because people my age, like landlords, don't even mess with them like that. Do you know what I mean? And he let me. He gave. He gave me a chance, innit? Yeah, bro. Let me just mention me chance, my dad. Bro. Yeah, he don't take anyone under thirty-five See, because saying. they make problems in the house as well. Do you know what I mean? So like, I understand why. He gave me a chance. Yeah, it's, it's normal for a landlord not to take on anyone at that age. And I'm from the ends. <laughs> I'm from the ends. These times, I'm talking to him like, how are you signing now? A lot of um, a lot of um, a lot of um, home um, homeowners landlords would see would see me and just be like. And that, that's what mm. issue I was having in the beginning. I was going to loads of different shops, getting turned away, turned away, turned away, turned away. Or he gave me a chance. He said, once you're here, I'm going to do something with the back, but I need you to use the same builders and plumbers and electrician that I use. Mm. So I spoke to them. I told them everything I want in the shop. They gave me a bill and that was the loan gone, blood. <laughs> swear. That was the whole loan gone, blood. They gave me one bill, the whole loan's gone, but the shop's open. I've got to pay the rent now. Um, I had peas there on the side as well. I didn't want to use, but I ended up using. But after a few months, because I didn't have everyone here, everyone weren't paying, you know what I mean? Because when I first moved here, Nathaniel, was, Nathaniel came straight away. Mm. Ev, came, Ev came straight away after. And then um, um, Kat was acro um, crossing the road. And then I, sh I was like, yo, and my friend, my friend, shout out to Chaos. Big dog, you get me? Chaos was, <laughs> Chaos was like, yeah, fam, yeah, you're looking yeah. for a hairdresser. Hey, that girl's a hairdresser, you know? Swear down. Yeah. Oh, so you showed and I said, you, I swear, I said, fam, her face looks mm. familiar, you know? So she shouted to Kat, Kat's from the, Kat's from the end, so. Yeah, she shout said, out to Kat as I, well, I, man. I spoke to her, I swear, yo, Kat. I mean, when I, I walked up to her and I said, oh, what's going on? I heard you're a hairdresser. Long story short, Kat, Kat started doing hair in the shop, but it weren't as easy in the beginning because I weren't able to charge the full rent because the shop had just opened. Mm. And it got to a point, I had, I had a date just at that time. Mm. Uh, bro, I had a date just that time. I was 22 what? and I was nice. You, like, you were wearing suits nice. then as well, weren't I was wearing suits, so yeah. you get me. Um, I had, a, I had, I had a, that, that. I wanna, um, we're going to get to that, yeah. I want to um, ask a question, yeah, as well, yeah. Mm. That bit there, because obviously the shop and that you build like really good relationship with your clients mm. where like, your people's skills are like mm. off the wall, like they're much better than mine. Mm -hmm. Where I'm, I'm still getting better now, I'm very good at it now, mm. where I'm better now, but back then I wasn't. But you've been always good 
at like people's skills and building a relationship with your clients and obviously mm. building a relationship with a client is going to keep them isn't it mm. yeah so because you know, you know what I'm saying tell them a bit about how you build your relationship and what do you do to to keep the clients will, will stay in a strong relationship with them yeah, you know what I mean you know, well, because you ask them each different question yeah, yeah let's not say everything like, yeah, oh, that's yeah, a nice yeah, topic yeah, you're wearing yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, man, because you, know, you know what it is, like, you got to read their energy, man. See some clients, they just want to quickly get a haircut and cut. See some clients, they want to talk to you. Yeah. See some clients, they so want to talk, but they need, they to, they need to leave on time. If they don't want to talk, it's energy, bro. Energy. You've got to be able to feel energy. Yeah. Feel someone's energy. So what if you know someone says, just trim me, bro? Yeah, that means, all right, no problem. Sure, man. just trim me. Yeah, but what if he says it in a rude way? Bro, just but hurry fam, up and but, trim me. Yeah, bro, but this is the thing. This is where you build um, your patience. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. remember, like, I started cutting hair young, this bro. is a good combo, because they, they're going to do I, I, this I start, as well. I started cutting hair young, bro. I was in a shop. <coughs> I was in a barber's at 15, bro. I had big men coming to me to get a haircut, and I'm way younger than them. And I'm in a shop where I, I want to stay, blood. I want to impress everyone around me. I want people to look at me like I'm a good barber, I'm a yeah. good person. I want them to be around me, to trust me enough to be in the shop by myself. Yeah? So if there was a client that was mad rude, I just have to stomach it. Do you know what I'm saying? I've got to bite my tongue. And me doing that, so what would my you patience. do? What would you do? Like, would you, um, if, if they'd done something like that? If they'd done something like that, no problem, bro. No problem. I apologize. I apologize. But to be fair, yeah, I was so patterned. The only thing that I would have to apologize for majority of the time was running a bit behind. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Running a bit behind. That's about it, man. Because obviously, we got to deal with different type of characters. Not everyone's the same. Mm -hmm. And like, like you said, it's, it all boils down to patience. Mm -hmm. And obviously inside us, like, whether the anger arises, like we can be aware of the anger and not re react to the anger mm -hmm. and just stay calm, do you know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. if you're a patient barber, you're a best barber, and we all know mm -hmm. what happens with anger and frustration. Reputation. It, it makes things end start. a bad way, you know 100%. what I mean? And that person might not come back if they're seeing your energy is bad. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, the relationship. Happens, man. But cut. how do you do with that though? How like, cause you're you're actually a good people person. Alright, so with me, you, yeah, like... I find out what my clients like doing, yeah. Mm. So like, if if my client likes fighting, yeah, mm. I'll put on some UFC and mm. let them watch the UFC and start mm. talking about fights, yeah. If he likes talking about motivation, we'll talk mm. about motivation. Um, football. Even though I'm not into football, we can still talk about football. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm just bringing up any convo they want to talk about to make the the, the um. The thing exciting and also I've got quotes as well like peace mm -hmm. sign there and good vibes in the neon light mm -hmm. and I always show them it's a good vibe so I make them aware that there's a good vibe. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to bring bad vibe that we don't really like bad vibes. Mm -hmm. So as you keep pushing the good vibe and the positive energy and that yeah, it just keeps the vibration positive mm -hmm. and I always make them aware that like, we don't really like bad vibes yeah. or bad energy yeah. in here because it's not good for me, yeah. it's not good for you lot. Mm -hmm. So if my client was negative, I wouldn't want you to deal with that type of energy so mm -hmm. I don't want you to have that type of energy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of making them aware of it before they even react in a certain way. Yeah, no, so they they already known that like, I've had situations where people have gone mad and I've just stayed calm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And do, like a man will say, I deal with stuff like this and I, I deal with stuff professionally. And that's what I do. If you're a professional and you're, you're trying to be professional, mm -hmm. you can't be unprofessional. Mm -hmm. You can't be going crazy and going mad. You've got to calm down and always remember that that's your bread and butter. Mm -hmm. And they're putting money in your pocket and everything you've got now is because of these clients. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And realise mm -hmm. that every day, whatever passion or, or trade you're doing, it's just your clients and you. You know what I mean? You and your clients all the way. People come and go, so do clients, but you've mm -hmm. got to take care of your clients, the mm -hmm. ones that are there mm -hmm. in that moment mm -hmm. that we're in now. And you know, you know what I mean? And bro, I'll add to that, bro, yeah? Another way, yeah? If, if you are a barber, yeah, and you get a lot of those headache clients, yeah? Because mm -hmm. there are clients that are just headache, fam, yeah? Nine times out of ten, fam, you haven't got a booking system. Because I can't lie, I'll be completely honest, yeah? yeah? Ever since I started my booking system where... People have to pay online, yeah? I don't get headache from my clients like that no more. And I'll tell you why, yeah? I feel like the headache clients, right, so let me the ask headache clients don't want to pay online. Right, so let me ask and the headache question, clients yeah? don't want to book appointments. All right, so you must have had situations, yeah? Because mm. we need to open this convo, innit? Mm. That's why we're going to talk about everything. Where mm. the client didn't want to book online, mm -hmm. he didn't want to pay first, and obviously he's not with you no more. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. you've had to, obviously, you didn't want to do it, mm -hmm. but you've had to just say, look, I'm sorry, I can't. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and it's, it's this thing that we do where we do things we don't want to do and you just, we shouldn't do that. Isn't that right? Yeah. That's what, we, that's, that's what I want to talk this about. That's what I do. It? I give them a chance though, man. Like, obviously I take online bookings, yeah? Don't get me wrong, yeah? There are some clients 
yeah, some very small percentage that paid cash that have been coming to me for a long time. The reason why yeah, but I'm still, like that as people, well. The reason why I still trim them is because they never miss their appointment, and if they want to change their date, they'll change, they'll change it at least one week prior. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if they don't make their appointment, they'll still pay me. Yeah. Those are the reasons why I still trim them. Okay. Those three reasons. You know what it is, yeah. Like the clients need to understand. If so you're it's more of a loyalty yeah, thing. Yeah, if you're paying cash, bro. Yeah, if you're paying cash, it's a um, it's a loyalty thing, it's a it's a it's a, a mutual respect thing, and it's a credit thing. You know right, what I'm so saying? say like I, I met you in the gym now, and I said, look, yeah, I want to book an appointment with you, yeah, but I don't really like book online or, or do online. Can I just pay you cash and that you really get along with me and you just? I, met I me? really get along with you, and I yeah. I'll give you a shot in it. You give me a shot. I'll give yeah? you a shot. Yeah, uh -huh. that, but that's how I look at it. Cool, cool. That's what I look at it like. No, but it's a good Cause question. Cause I'm the, asking, yeah, because the people it? who don't want to book online, you're basically giving them a shot because yeah. the reason why it's a shot, it's like I've done that to so many people mm. and they haven't showed All up. Alright, what we're gonna do now, yeah, we're gonna um like we're we're gonna put ourselves. I'm in the gym. You're in the gym. We're not together. Mm. We, we wanna um get more clients. Mm. Yeah, and like how are we gonna approach the person? You, you're gonna say first. You approach me and I'm going to answer back and then I'm going to do the same to you. So we're just helping them how to approach new clients, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? In a uh, professional way. In I'll a tell professional you what. way. All right, cool. I'll say this, yeah. I'll say this. If I move to a different area and I started cutting Let's hair from Let's just say scratch, you're on David Lloyd's, yeah? And, and you're working here. Yeah, but, you, I, but I, don't, from, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do that, you know? What? I don't like. I don't. I don't chat to random. I don't chat to random um, people to try and make them come to the right, shop. So how would you get your clients then? I get my clients through word of mouth, bro. Majority of the time. But when I first started, I started so long ago. And think about it. I've always been cutting hair so in this area. So that's why my my journey is different. Slightly, I've, that's what I've I'm had saying. to obviously. That's what people want to hear. People want to hear yeah. both sides, isn't it? So with me, I've had to build up my client as well. But I had to do it when I was a lot younger. I was 15 when I was building so up my clients. So with me, you'll be on a treadmill, innit? <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll walk up to you, innit? <laughs> Yeah. And I'll tap on your shoulder, yeah? yeah. Sorry to break you from your workout, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm a what, while, I'm, while I'm running, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, sorry. So you're, you're making me stop like, the I'm, I'm a bit funny. You're you're making me stop the I'm like, sorry, big man. Just one minute. Give me one minute, please. Like, like, and, like, I, and I'm just gonna. I pull out my phone. Ah, no, no, no. Let's do. Let's just pretend that we're in a situation. Ah, cool. Uh, I'm so I'm like, you're, you're on the running, yeah. I'm jogging. I'm gonna I'm come. I'm jogging. Yeah. I'm gonna put this here. Yes, big man. You're right. Yeah, 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 let me stop this. Sorry, sorry to stop you from your workout, yeah? yeah. I'm really sorry. Uh, but I just wanted to introduce myself. My name's Attila Barber. Okay. I've got a private studio, yeah? Yeah. And I trim hair. And because I'm looking at you, I only approach people with the hair types that I like, your type okay. of hair. All right. So it makes them feel more comfortable, yeah? Okay. If they want to see and they're more intrigued, I'll now pull out my Instagram because okay. I've got a higher uh, following. Show me, show me then, show me. This and that. Show me the Instagram. Yeah, and obviously, I trim a few artists is oh yeah and, and i work in a, a private environment okay and this this that and then they get kind of interested and then ah. i'll say this is my booking system okay. and then they can see it's legit you can okay. click on to here uh -huh. from the link tree and then book the appointment ah. and then now i've given him my card okay yeah? oh thank you and for then now i'm walking sir. away and now he's yeah. looking at my card while he's running so he's like interested now mm, yeah i might try this fella out yeah ah. yeah so <laughs> now now yeah. I've got the confidence yeah. now. Yeah. So now, before, when I walked in the gym, I don't want to talk to no one. But okay. I said, you know what? If you don't talk to no one, if you don't ask, you're never going to get you're it. So what do I do? Now? I approach people that look like me. Mm. Like I approach another young guy. Shout out to him. Yeah, come on, David Lloyd's. Man, saw you, walked up to you. And now he's coming to me all the time. And he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, you see yeah. what I'm trying to say? Because it was the aura and the energy. You never okay. think you're going to meet someone mm -hmm. yeah, if you don't ask them. And you could have meeting so much people, mm -hmm. but you didn't want to ask because mm -hmm. you got your clients like that. But just mm -hmm. by getting the clients, mm -hmm. you could have had new opportunities. And that's why they've always said, I'm a prolific yeah. networker. Ah. Slowly killing they sales. Five iPhones drop, my nigga still in the cell. He say he found gas, shit, I doubt it. See, each his own, whatever keep you strong to get about it. We need your home, cause see your wars going on outside. I'm about crap.